it is indeed a very beautiful day today hoping that this video finds you well wherever you are once again welcome back to my channel if you're new here please remember to subscribe like the video feel free to comment down below in the comment section share the video and also do not forget to click the notification button so that you get to be notified anytime i do upload a new video so guys today i am super super excited and as you can see from the description box today we are going to embark on an informative video and as you can see we are going to discuss about phone addiction or rather called nomophobia so please guys stay tuned hey guys these gadgets are really bringing problems today and we have even gone to an extent of luring our kids on this uh, side of the world it's really really unfortunate can you imagine that there were days whereby these mobile phones the smartphones were really in not in existence and we could even survive we could survive so well without any issues the world would run normally and there were no this type of problems that these gadgets have brought in lately i mean it is good to own one uh, gadget it is good to have a mobile phone it is it, it has made a lot of things easier it has an advantage and disadvantage as well but like it depends how you we use it but i have realized through the research that i've done that many of us tend to misuse this gadget that said let's kick straight to today's topic uh, did you know that probably you could be suffering from phone addiction or rather nomophobia yet you don't know i have realized in one of my res the researches that i was doing that so many people are suffering from this condition yet they are not even aware that they are suffering from this condition and in that research i found out that we have about 3.8 billion uh, smartphone users and from this uh, population of 3.8 billion the 6.3 percent of uh, this population has a phone addiction i just feel like as much as these gadgets have become a part of our lives our daily lives we really really need to try so much and minimize minimize its usage i mean i know that these gadgets do make our lives so easier lately it is very important we are able to run things very well without a lot of hassles but also this type of convenience comes at a price so that uh, said we are going to discuss how you will know that you are suffering from a phone addiction or how to know if you are nomophobic we all know that too much of something is poisonous and therefore when you tend to consume something much more than you should have consumed it will definitely lead to some dangers so let's touch some of the causes or effects of phone addictions which includes sleep deficits or insomnia we have lower concentration anxiety depression stress insecurities we have loneliness we have poor performance if you're in school and you're using a phone you are definitely you'll definitely be rest assured that you'll start your grades will start dropping down psychological disorders infertility because of the radiation especially people who like sleeping with their phone near their beds um, lack of interaction as well fatigue blurry vision because you are too much on your phone your eyes are always busy uh, being exposed to this kind of lights and much more other effects so with that said we are now going to talk in details how you will tell that you're suffering from phone addiction first point on how to know or determine if you have a condition called nomophobia that is when people around you are expressing concern 
you are this person every time you attend a meeting you are in a gathering or rather an event you tend to become antisocial even when you're hosting instead of hosting your guests well you switch on your attention from the guests and put it all on your phone you tend to isolate from everyone around you during serious discussion you are not even concentrating on grabbing the most important things that brought you to that particular gathering instead you lose focus and you are paying more attention on your phone the second uh, point is neglecting or trouble completing duties at work i mean or school or even at home you're always this person who drags behind at any given cause at home once you're given a call at home to do it you are always dragging uh, you are always not uh, doing your school assignment if you're a student i mean lately even kids are given kids under 18 are allowed to use phone and it's so unfortunate if it were me i would uh, restrict my kids if i have if i get kids i will restrict them from these gadgets until they are 18 years old because i i have done a research and i have found out it's a really really consuming uh time and focus from these kids let the kids let your kids study there is a time they will get to use this gadget and let that time be a good time for them to be exposed to such so you even like your kids or even you you're becoming a poor performer at work at school you know and any uh, given environment whereby you're supposed to do some work third point will be more and more time using a phone like you guys you are always looking for an excuse always always to be on the phone either by stalking people or checking people's profiles you know repeatedly you are every time on social media trying to check this trying to check that basically you just like uh, try and get an excuse of being on your phone my fourth point is working later to complete tasks at work you are this type of an employee when you get to work in the morning instead of focusing on your job throughout the day you tend to put your phone first you tend to be focused so much on your phone and then you end up not meeting your target and by the end of the day when you're supposed to be leaving from work to home is when you want to stay behind to uh, start working so that you are able to meet your targets it will really 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 stress you up it is not a good thing for you you have no idea how much these gadgets can uh, lead us into problems some of this some of uh, this thing can be seen even by your bosses they might be able to tell that you're not performing you're not performing well in your work because when you're a good performer one of the thing is that you meet your target on time so you need to really watch on that my next point is getting up at night to check your phone be it you wanted to use a bathroom or rather you got some little distraction in the middle of the night you just wake up and the next thing you want to do is have your phone some people even stay up to very late in the night because of using their phone yet some of these people are married instead of utilizing this time to give your spouse attention you are busy on your phone we have seen that how some of these things have led to a uh, breakdown of marriages so you don't want to be caught on that you need to really discipline yourself another thing is a feel of lack of connection like every time you attend an event or gathering you have this tendency of just distancing yourself from other attendees in the event and filling in the gap with scrolling your phone you are always scrolling scrolling your phone you know uh, it's such a bad habit you become too hard on yourself to allow yourself to connect to people or with people so you really 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 need to act up on that 
another point is phantom vibration like you have become so attached to your phone to an extent even when you're not using it you tend to feel like it's ringing you there's something that is always playing on your mind like my phone is ringing my phone is ringing even when it's not even buzzing you know because of this kind of attachment another point would be preoccupation you just find yourself checking your phone as a method of um trying to buy time of in the middle of doing tasks and there's just a few even when there's a few moments of waiting for something for example you are in a store you are in a line in a store trying to buy something and during that moment you need to you tend to use your fo phone to buy time during that uh, standing process another point guys is when you are always angry and irritated if the phone use is interrupted let me say you go somewhere whereby there is no signals on your phone or there is lack of internet connection you just tend to be you, you tend to look so agitated so frustrated so you know that you are indeed addicted to a phone you are pr probably suffering from nomophobia lastly is when you involve yourself in any form of accident injuries in the middle of uh, using your phone we have had so many stories there's a story in kenya this uh, group of five people who were attending a burial and after the burial they decided to go to lake victoria to have a boat ride in between that few members decided to take a selfie in the middle of the uh, boat ride unfortunately the vessel capsized because of the imbalance in the boat so that was really really unfortunate there's this story again of this lady who was taking a photo behind a waterfall and before she knew it she was down and you know she lost her life just like that so really guys you need to be careful if you if I, anything i have mentioned and you feel like uh that connects with you you really need to change probably in one of the videos i'm going to discuss to you how to break your phone addiction or how to avoid this nomophobic condition so guys that's it for today if you haven't subscribed again i will remind you please 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 do so like this video share the video comment down below in the comment section Guys, until next video, adios.